points and lines and angles. Oh my! First up on our agenda is a point. A point is just a place in space. Typically we see this marked with a dot, so we know where it is on our paper. And often it's just marked with a letter. In this image we see point Y. When we're identifying two endpoints and all of the space, all of the points in between, we call that a line segment. Here you can see the line segment YZ. If you're talking about one endpoint and the other end going on and on and on in one direction, that's called a ray. We identify it by its endpoint and the direction it's headed. In this case, you see ray YZ. A line does not have endpoints. It goes on and on and on and on and on in both directions. Here you see the line YZ. An angle forms at the intersection of two rays. The point of intersection is called the vertex. In this image on the right, you see a few different angles marked. We can identify those two different angles by letters. They both have the vertex R, but the arms of the angles, the rays of the angles, have different points. You see angle SRQ and angle QRT. Angles can be classified by their size. A right angle looks like a corner. Angles that are bigger than a right angle are called obtuse. Angles that are smaller than a right angle are called acute. Perpendicular lines intersect at a right angle. Parallel lines never intersect. Let's look at this image and see if we can pick out some of our new terms. Right away I see some points labeled, point Y and R and Z. Do you see a line segment? How about the line segment RZ, which identifies the points R and Z and all of the points in between? How about a ray? I see ray YZ with the endpoint Y continuing on in the Z direction and also RZ with the endpoint R going on in the Z direction. I see lines, line RZ, line YZ. Can you identify an angle? Oh, there's one, angle YZR. Good job. Let's look at this figure and see if we can identify a set of perpendicular line segments. Remember, you're looking for something that looks like a corner. I see one. How about the line segments RS and QR? They are perpendicular. How about parallel line segments? They're not going to touch. No matter how far out we draw them, they won't touch. RS and ZV are parallel line segments. Excellent job. Wow, you have learned so many new terms today. Big words, too. You should be very proud of yourselves. Dog high five!